uh, now we will be uh, going for the numericals of uh, adhesive uh, bonding so uh, this is numerical number one uh, the figure shows a lab joint that is riveted as well as adhesively bonded so basically we have got a figure we have got this uh, lab joint and then if you've got adhesive bonding as well as we've got a rivet as well uh, which has been used to join this these two plates now assume that the cross section of the lab joint is 20 millimeter by 20 millimeter uh, the diameter of the solid uh, rivet is 4 millimeter and the rivet is made of copper so they are saying that this area cross-sectional area of the lab joint is around uh, 20 by 20 and the diameter of this uh, rivet is around 4 millimeter using the strongest adhesive shown in table estimate the maximum tensile force that this joint can withstand so we need to calculate the maximum tensile force for this whole joint the ultimate tensile strength uts for copper is 220 megapascal so they've got given the uh, maximum tensile strength for uh, copper so what we need to do is basically we need to find uh, how much uh, this uh, rivet is basically bearing the load and then how much this adhesive uh, is bearing the load and then we need to sum up because this is a combinational joint this joint is made up of rivet plus adhesive so we need to add the forces of adhesive as well as the forces due to uh, the rivet so the first thing is uh, that we need to find uh, using the table of adhesives this is the table for adhesive the maximum or the, the adhesive which can, which can basically give you maximum strength so if you see from this table the maximum strength can be given by uh, modified uh, acrylic which is equals to around 25.9 megapascal okay so this is something which we have obtained from the table now let's move back to the question so first we need to calculate uh, what is uh, for modified uh, acrylic and for copper rivet so let's move to copper rivet the area of this rivet can be found by pi by 4 d square so this is equals to pi by 4 into 4 millimeter whole square and the answers comes out to be 1.2257 into 10 to the power minus 5 meter square <clears throat> now the UTS is given UTS is equals to how much 220 mega Pascal and a note is given this note shows that in shear take the material strength as one half of the UTS so if if I want to calculate since Sigma equals to force over area Sigma is the uh, UTS they are saying that make UTS uh, half because uh, uh, in because this material this joint when we apply uh, some amount of forces it causes shear stress shear stress but then the question it is asking what is the uh, maximum Sigma uh, sorry what is the maximum force force you in tension is unknown so to calculate the force in tension we need to take so this implies that force is equals to one half of the shear of the sigma uts multiplied by area 
so this is what it says this note so this this is the basically the minimum force that can be uh, that this material can withstand so f means comes out to be half into 220 into 10 to the power 6 multiplied by 1.257 into 10 to the power minus 5 so f min for rivet comes out to be 1383 newtons now let's move to uh, the adhesive now since we know that UTS of adhesive is uh, to 25.9 uh, part so the area of the lab joint is basically this part and this joint area is uh, 20 by 20 but we know that we have got a rivet area as well this one so this is basically not a part of uh, this is basically the rivet area and it is not a part of adhesive so the total area of the adhesive area total of the adhesive is equals to area of the lap minus area of the rivet so the total area for the adhesive is equals to uh, 20 by 20 minus the area of the red which is 12.57 millimeter square so the area comes out to be 3.874 into 10 to the power minus 4 meter square when it is converted <clears throat> so what is the force the minimum force which is basically the maximum force that this adhesive can bear so we need to calculate the minimum force that this adhesive can bear so that we can show uh, that this is basically uh, uh, the maximum tensile force that this joint can uh, withstand so first we calculate the minimum force of the adhesive then we calculate the minimum force of the rivet and once we combine them then this is the maximum force that this uh, joint can withstand so the minimum force that this uh, adhesive, adhesive can withstand is also equals to half of the maximum UTS Sigma UTS maximum times the area the uh, total area of the uh, adhesive 80 80 so force minimum comes out to be half into 25.9 megapascals means 10 to the power 6 multiplied by 3.874 into 10 to the power minus 4 so the minimum force that this adhes uh, this uh, adhesive uh, can withstand and give this force to the joint comes out to be 5016 newton this is due to the adhesive one thing that we can note from our result is that f min of adhesive and f min of rivet, rivet there is a huge difference so the rivet is basically withstanding 1383 newton and the adhesive is withstanding 5016 newton so the adhesive is taking more load because it has more area so adhesive or adhesive joints have the advantages against the riveted joints that they cover more area so since they cover more area so the minimum amount of force that they can give to a joint is much much higher than the riveted and so the maximum force that this uh, this joint can withstand which is equals to the total force ft is equals to the force that this 
and joint can withstand due to the rivets FR plus the force with this uh, joint can withstand due to the adhesives so FT comes out to be 1383 plus 5016 and FT is equals to 6399 newtons so this is your answer for numerical number 1 so we have used the values in the table and using the values in the table the best uh, strength the shear strength was given by uh, this acrylic which is 25.9 uh, megapascals so uh, we are going to move to our next numerical uh, numerical number two i will not uh, calculate this numerical number two because it is similar to numerical number one but i will give you some of the hints so in numerical number two <coughs> uh, a simple butt joint and lap joint is given so basically this is a butt joint and this is a lap joint so when you've got two plates in series okay and you've got a two plates in series and then you've got an adhesive in between to join them then this is butt joint and a lap joint is something which overlaps so you've got an adhesive here and then we've got another plate in between so notice that if i am going to apply force here then it is going to be pure tensile force so it will, it will be sigma and if I am going to apply force here, then it is going to be shear. So for the case of lap joint, the formula for calculating force will be equals to half of the uh, the shear strength multiplied by area. Where is the formula for the pot joint force? It will be equals to simply the amount of stress multiplied by the area. So this is the difference in this numerical. So it is basically telling us to compare the forces, uh, uh, the minimum and maximum forces that this joint can withstand uh, for butt joint and for lap joint. So uh, assuming that the area of the butt joint is given, okay, referring to the adhesive properties given table, estimate the minimum and maximum tensile force that this joint can withstand. So basically we need to find the minimum and the maximum. So the minimum and the maximum can be calculated if we see the table if we look at the table the material which has the minimum amount of strength is basically uh, if i am going to ask you which material has the uh, lowest adhesive strength then it is epoxy or polyurethrene both have uh, around 15.4 mega pascal in uh, if i'm going to basically ask you which one is the maximum then it is same as previous numerical which was modified acrylic which was equals to 25.9 mega pascal so the force minimum force will be calculated using this value and the maximum force can be calculated using this value so you have to calculate f min and f max for butt joint as well as for lap joint again you have to calculate f max for butt joint and for the lap joint so this is what you need to calculate the minimum force for the epoxy in butt joint which is using the formula this formula uh, f equals to sigma into area and the maximum force in case of butt joint uh, will be used for this material modified acrylic and using the same formula f equals to sigma into area whereas for uh, the lap joint you are going to use this formula this formula is going to be used for the lap joint for both uh, f min and f max
so i'm going to write the answers for you guys okay you need to calculate the area of the bud joint okay so the area of the bud joint is basically going to be uh, this perpendicular area uh, you basically this one so this is going to be the area for bud joint and for lead joint because it is overlapping so the area is going to be something like this this is lead joint area so the answers for the bud joint uh, f min and f max is equals to 1540 newtons and 2590 newtons and the answer for f min is equals to 1790 newton and f max is equals to 2910 newton so i think it is quite easy just to calculate the area and multiply it with, with the relevant uh, formulas so these are two quite important numerical for you guys to solve for uh, the adhesive joints and i would recommend you to use uh, some internet sources to find some answers to the following questions these questions are very important for you to uh, understand this topic more uh, theoretically as well so some other questions such as what are the principles of uh, uh, spot resistance welding which we have covered in our previous topic uh, why it is very important for us to have a very close fit which we have already discussed in our lecture uh, these are some quite important questions that you need to go to the internet and self-study so this is the basically the end of our topic for bracing soldering and adhesive bonding which was a part of co number one and the, our uh, course objective number one has now finished and for uh, some of the reference I have given some extra material as well in your slides so you can go through those extra material for your reference and for improving your concepts now for the next uh, week or for the next slides uh, I will be covering uh, basically the how to calculate strength what are the uh, welding structures and what are the welding symbols and how do we calculate the welding strength of uh, some of some of the examples and for some of the objects so it is more on numerical based so uh, good luck and thank you for uh, listening